Good day to all my students in Trail Electronics Laboratory. They were going to perform experiment 3, reset priority latching and latching circuit for release. Now, if you recall, our experiment 2 was set priority latching and latching circuit. Now, for this experiment, experiment 3, we will be doing the reset priority latching and latching circuit. Okay, so let's now go to our simulation using the Festo Fluid Sim. So now I have already prepared, I uh, initially prepared a diagram for the latching. As you can see, we have our push button one here, our really R1, and this is our control circuit, and we have the auxiliary contact R1. And for our load circuit, we have our another auxiliary uh, contact R1 and our lamp. Okay, so if you run this simulation, and if you press and release push button 1, then R1 will latch, thereby uh, energizing our lamp. But as you can see in our uh, circuit, there is no unlatching uh, component so the only way to unlatch therefore is to power off the circuit so in this uh, since this is the only a simulation therefore we'll have to stop the simulation in order to de-energize the relay okay so in order for us to uh, unlatch so we need to put uh, another components into the circuit but let us remember that we are going to do the reset priority latching and latching. Okay. So now let me add uh, another component, uh, another component into the circuit. So I will add another push button, and I will add another relay. Okay. button to the relay and relay to zero volts push button will be connected to uh, the five volts uh, 24 volts okay now uh, we will uh, since we are we will making the reset priority then we will insert a uh, we will delete this portion here and we will insert a, a normally close uh, auxiliary contact okay so we will rotate this one and we will put it uh, in between uh, this connection we will connect we will connect okay so we will label this our push button 2. This will be our relay R2. And this will be our auxiliary contact R2. Okay. So if you recall our second experiment, our uh, unlatching uh, contact is connected in series with the auxiliary contact R1 here but for reset priority we will put it here okay so if we run the simulation if we press push button 1 press and release the circuit will latch and if we press push button 2 the circuit will unlatch okay again push button one r1 is latch energizing the, the load the lamp if we press push button two r1 is unlatch thereby de-energizing our our lamp now why do we call this a reset priority 
Now we call this a reset priority because if you are going to press both push buttons at the same time, relay R1 will always be reset or otherwise relay R1 will always be de-energized because if we press push button 2 relay contact R2 which is normally closed will always open so even if you press push button 1 it can never have a complete path going to relay R1 so this will never be uh, energized this, this will never be set so if we are going to press both push buttons R1 will always be reset or de-energized okay so how, we, how are we going to do the simulation so let us uh, replace our our push button 2 with uh, normally close push button okay So let's assume that we have already pressed push button 2. So this is, this is, uh, so let's label this as push button 2. So if you press push button 1, it will never energize R1. Okay, so let's try the simulation. So as you can see, uh, uh, this path is already complete because we have here a normally closed push button. So R2 is, is energized, thereby opening the auxiliary contact. So if we press push button, R1 will never be energized. It, it will never be set. That's why we call this a reset priority latching and latching circuit. Okay. okay so uh, for your uh, task you will you will uh, draw a two lamp reset priority latching and latching circuit this is just similar to our task 2 for experiment 2 wherein you were asked to draw a two lamp set priority latching and latching circuit for task 3, you're going to do a two-lamp uh, reset right here, latching circuit. And the deadline of this is on or before June 4, 2020. Okay? So thank you and good day.